so these are the pieces that you're going to need for this project here I have a 9 by 10 and this is going to be for the back this is for the packet and this is five and a half inches by 10 inches and this is also 10 inches wide by two and a half inches this is going to be for the flap I'm just going to be curving the edges right there and these four pieces are going to be for the strap these two pieces they are 14 inches long by 4 inches wide and I'm just going to be folding those and stitch coming down the sides I want my straps to be at least 2 inches wide and these small ones they are actually 10 and a half in length and 4 inches wide as well these are going to be the bottom straps and these are going to be the top straps here I have 25 inches long by 4 inches wide and that is going to be the top of the bag that I'm going to be using that to go around the rim to pass the th string through and this is going to be the front of the bag now this is what I did for these pieces all of these pieces that has the fur what I did was to get a piece just like this to line it because the fur is so thin and this is a very durable material so it will be able to actually carry the weight whenever you put something in the bag so I also did this one the same way this and this so I line them because the fur is so thin it is so soft so you can see just how thin it is so it obviously needs to be lined by something a lot thicker so guys I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing so the way you are gonna do it is for this one you're just going to be stitching down that going all the way around there and you're just gonna leave that one like that For this one you're going to take the fur and you're going to take this one the the part that has the sheen so the right side of the fabric is going to go face down onto the fur and you're going to stitch on the wrong side of both pieces and you're just going to stitch that going all the way around and this one you're gonna do the same thing to that you're gonna take put right sides together and you stitch around on the wrong side so I went ahead and I stitched all the way around here all the way around it that's going to remain like that these ones I stitched all the way around them on the wrong side so what I'm gonna be doing for this one I'm just going to make a little edge here let me see if I can pull out the edges and I'm just gonna get a stitch going across here straight across here to create the pocket and then I'm just gonna get a little hole at the top and I'm going to turn them over now that I'm finished sewing this is what they look like so you can see I did that to all four edges I did these edges as well so what I'm gonna do I'm going to be cutting these off just cut up these off and then I'm just gonna turn it over through the little hole that I created so let me go and cut these off on all four edges I'm gonna be doing these parts as well and then I'm gonna just turn it out now that I've turned them over this is what they're looking like so what I'm gonna be doing is just to take my needle and thread and I'm going to be closing the little hole that I turned the pieces over through so. now that I have closed the hole and both of the bottoms of them what I'm gonna be doing is to be inserting this zipper but I'm gonna base it in first before I stitch because the fur is very slippery so I'm gonna base that in and then I'm just gonna give it a stitch there and a stitch there at the top this is what my pocket now looks like and this is what the inside looks like so what I'm gonna do is to take the front part and I'm just going to go ahead and stitch my pocket down now right where you have the crease here that's where I'm gonna be doing it right at the bottom so I'm going to stitch it going all the way around there. So once you've put your pocket on, this is what your pocket is supposed to be looking like. New zipper. Okay. 
okay so the next thing that you're gonna be doing you're gonna be closing this section so you're gonna be taking this and you're gonna be giving it a stitch going here and you're gonna be doing the same thing to this section you're just gonna be closing it like that and you give it a stitch going there so now that you've sewn the edges this is what it's supposed to look like so this is how you're gonna be creating the bottom part of the bag so what you're gonna be doing from this point on so this is the little flap now it's on the wrong side so what I'm gonna do is to turn it over so what I'm gonna do is to get a little flat stitch going all the way around here which will hold them together this is what the other side is looking like so I went ahead and I gave it a flat stitch going all the way around and this will hold it down to hold it together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be inserting one of these. So I'm using this section which is the flatter section and I'm just going to bend this like so. I'm going to be finding the center of that and I'm going to take it to about 2 inches and I'm going to be inserting it on this layer so I'm just gonna be doing this part um, these little parts that come they are gonna be going on the inside and this is to anchor this so it doesn't pull through these little sprungs don't pull through now we are gonna be moving on to the back of the bag so to create the straps what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be folding all of these four inches straps they're four inches wide and this is by ten and a half 4 inches by 14. I'm just going to be folding these, stitch them up, going all the way down and stitch one of the edge as well. And I'm going to do that on the wrong side Then I'm going to turn them all four pieces out. I'm going to be using this piece. This is 5 inches long and this is 2 inches wide. I'm just going to be using this for the loop for the bag. So I'm going to go and do all five pieces because I'm going to need to put them onto the back of the bag to create the back. Now that I'm finished stitching all the pieces, as you can see I gave them a flat stitch going down so they will lay down flat. So what I'm going to do is to do something similar to this. And this is the type of hooks that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using these hooks. And just as you see how I insert this and pin it, what I'm going to do is to give it a stitch going around here to both of them. And then I'm going to be inserting them onto the bag. So let me show you how I'm going to be inserting these onto the bag. These this little one here I'm gonna be using it for the loop so I'm just gonna be finding the center here and I'm gonna put the loop there and then I'm gonna be putting these on as well so I'm gonna do a little demonstration to show you how I'm gonna be putting them on
this is what the finished product looks like guys so very much for joining me on this video i'll see you guys on another video and don't forget to check out the link in the description box to my other channel i'll see you guys on another video thank you very much for joining me bye guys